Hey, this is Brian and thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. Today we have a super cheap and super simple mod just for you. Now, I'm on a little bit of a yellow kick. It kind of started when I decided to powder coat my brake calipers, as you can see here. If you haven't seen the video, be sure to see up here. Now, one mod that I've always really liked, but I've just never really gotten around to doing, was when people wrap the crossbars here. Some people call it a V-brace. When they wrap it in different colors like red and yellow. So, to continue on my yellow kick, we got some yellow vinyl. Now, as you can see, my bumper is off, and um, well, it's not really because of this mod, but we're working on something else for the car show, just trying to get ready. If you don't know about the car show, be sure to see above here the video and also the link in the description. We're having a car show July 15th, 2018. It's going to be awesome. Tons of prizes, tons of huge brands representing us, and you should be there. For this process, you do not need to remove the bumper. As you saw, I'm working on another project right now. What you can do is you can pop out the kidney grills. You can reach in here. It's a little bit tight, but you can still wrap them. Now, for those of you who are going to be doing this process with the bumper on and just removing the kidney grills, here's what you need to do. Across the top of the bumper, you're going to see this weather stripping. This just pulls up and you can just set it out of the way. Then over here in the corner, there's a T25, another T25, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six T30s. You remove those. Then what you do is just slightly slide this out because there's these little metal retaining clips. And then you lift up your bumper and you can reach behind to remove the kidney grills. Now this next part of the process is going to be performed while the bumper is still on the car. But basically what you want to do, pull the bumper cover just like this. Then you want to reach your hand up. So then what you want to do is you want to get this little tab right here. You want to press it in and then outward. And you want to hold pressure on that and then in and then outward. And then as you can see, we're starting to loosen everything up. We'll go in and then we'll go outward, in and outward, in and outward, in and outward. Okay, I'm gonna have to put my camera on the tripod for a second. Then once you get that last one, this is going to come out, look just like this. And with the kidney grill out, as you can see, you have tons of room to get in here and work. Now because I have it this far and it really doesn't take all that much extra time, I'm gonna take the brace off. There's four T45 bolts. There's two up here, one under the light, one under the light. I'm gonna pull the whole brace off because what I wanna do is I wanna wrap it so that it goes underneath the shroud so the shroud doesn't mess me up. Now, is anyone ever gonna really be peeking in my kidney grill and making sure that I did the end good? No, but it's only four bolts, so it's, uh, I'm just gonna take it off. So if you decide to do the completely unnecessary route as I am, there's a T45 right here under your light. You're going to need an extension and a T45. Put that on there. Then what we can do is we can get the one on the other side. Now, when you go on this other side, you're going to see that there's a little air duct here. This is just soft rubber. So all you need to do is just maneuver it out of the way. And you can get right on the bolt, just like that. Then in the middle here, you have two T45s. This is what's at the top. All right, the easiest way to get this out is I like to go towards the passenger side of the car. If you're in the UK, it's the driver's side. Um, basically, all I try to do is just slide it left so the end of this falls off the metal. It dips it down, then you can kind of rock it out. Um, it doesn't come out easy, just as a heads up. So don't be alarmed if it's kind of a pain. Just duck it down, just like that. And just like that, it is out. Now, I know someone is going to ask me, they're going to say, you have everything for powder coating, why aren't you powder coating it? The reason I didn't powder coat is because this is bigger than my oven and I already bought the vinyl, so no big deal. Now before we can apply vinyl, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that everything is clean and dry, so make sure you get a microfiber towel, put some rubbing alcohol on it, and you just wanna clean it up. Now to make it easier to work with instead of holding it, I just put one of those T30s back in where the bumper was secured. And what that's going to do is it's just gonna give me a little stand, make it a little bit easier to work with. Now that everything is clean, dry, and prepped, what you can do is take a piece of vinyl and then cut it to the size that you want. And then what you can do is just take a little scrap piece and wrap it around and that'll tell you how big it needs to be. So I haven't measured this, I just did it by size, but it looks about three inches. It's okay in the back if you have some overlap. I would rather have some overlap than have it cut short and have a little gap in the back. Again, no one's gonna see it, but I think if you have an overlap, it's gonna stick a little bit better. All right, I have my vinyl cut to size. We're not sponsored or anything for this video, but we were using 3M 1080. Okay, I'm just gonna put this in the back here. Just gently smooth it out with my hand as we go. The good thing about vinyl is it's very forgiving, so if you mess up or something, 
you can just take it off and retry. If you start getting into like window tint and whatnot, if you mess up, it's trash. So I'm just rolling the film around. Nothing crazy. So we're at the back now. Slowly lift this up. Make sure we get as many bubbles out as we can. And this part no one's ever gonna see. So it doesn't have to be super pretty. All right, same thing, get your vinyl. Line it up where you want it. You want it to be here. Roll it out. Try to get as many bubbles out as you can. Okay, now I'm just wrapping it around the back. And we're all done wrapping, so let's reinstall it and check it out. For the reinstallation, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it like this so the point is facing me. Put it under here, so it's down there. I'll get this side tucked in the shroud. And I'll rock it up. All right, the wrap is done. All I need to do is put those T45s back in. Now I just threw the bumper on, it's not really attached right now, but check out how awesome this looks. You can really see how the yellow really just pops, especially with the blue car. I know some people like red, it's a little bit more subtle, but I kinda like the yellow and blue theme. Now whenever I'm working with vinyl, I like to get a lot more than I need, especially since it's pretty cheap. I think I paid about 10 or 12 bucks for this. Um, you could probably get away with doing it on like a 12 by 12 inch square, but I got 12 inches by 60 inches, so A, if I messed up, I had plenty of leftover, and B, if I find something else I wanna wrap, we're good to go. Again, this is Brian, and thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. Hopefully today's video was helpful for a little quick and easy cheap mod. It doesn't add any horsepower, but I think it looks pretty cool. As always, be sure to check us out at keysmotorsports.com for all your BMW retrofit and performance needs. Check us out at proautomotion.com for anything aesthetics, carbon fiber, M Sport conversions. Again, my name is Brian. Thanks so much for watching Keys Motorsports, and have a great day.